Good morning everybody. My name is Jody. My husband David John and I have a small farm in the Panhandle of North Idaho. These are our stories and adventures. So welcome to Moose Flats Farm. And today we are up in the seed shed. We've got to really get working on getting the cabbages or all the brassicas, the cabbage, the broccolis and the cauliflowers up potted into their four inch pots. So I'm going to go through the process of how you can how you up pot your seedlings. Okay so we got our seedlings here. We actually have two different type. We've got two rows of the flat late Dutch and then the rest is the Copa Copenhagen market early. We'll start with the Copenhagen and I have gone through and gotten all my labels pre-filled out so I know exactly what this is once it's time to get put into the garden. And these guys are definitely ready to be transplanted. Let's see if I can... So I'm going to go through and see how many of these I can separate. We'll have to make more labels because you don't want to plant a clump of four like this because they just won't get very big and they'll struggle. All else fails if I can't separate them. I would just trim out two of these just to give the biggest one the biggest chance to grow.
Okay, so I got a group there, so let's start getting our pots filled. So usually what I do is I'll just take and fill the cup, leaving a, a cutout spot right here to put the seedling in. And with the brassicas, they can be transplanted up to the bottom of the, the first leaves that came on. So we'll just set that guy right there. And that one's transplanted. I'm just packing the soil down around it, topping off if it needs it. So I'm going to switch to the GoPro and time lapse and bust a bunch of these out and then I'll show you what the rest of the seed shed's looking like at the moment.
Well guys, I was able to get th all the brassicas up potted into the four inch pots, show you them and kind of show you how I have it set up in here. Because it's always changing. So I've got all my cauliflowers and broccolis and each tray has got 15 plants. My little color pots down there. And the Dianthus is struggling a little, but it's still, it's got new growth coming on it. And then for Valentine's Day, they had, the, actually the day after Valentine's Day, they had mini roses at the one grocery store I shop at. The little four inch pots were two dollars and I did get one six inch pot that was four dollars. So got a bunch more mini roses because the heavy wet snow that we got this year did take a toll on my mini roses out in the garden so all else fails I do have replacements for them but the second round of cosmos and zinnias are looking good the, got a few little stevias here in the back that, that are looking good the ones that germinated Got a couple bachelor buttons, the echinacea under here is starting to get big. Over on the germination table, which I've got to go through and clean up because we're going to be planting peppers here in a couple days, I did go through and planted some moss rose and focus and kind of see little babies down there but I did go through and replant a bunch of the marigolds that just didn't come up and they're repopping up and I did replant the rosemary and it's kind of still spotty but I'm hoping more are going to germinate the evening primrose looks really good nothing on the hollyhock yet but it stays about 70 in here so I don't have the germination table on at this moment since it's pretty empty when we go to do the peppers these will get moved out under one of the black magic lights but you remember the other day when we planted the peony? It's starting to pop up. So this is the last place I have to hang some lights just so the peony will get plenty of light. Put these guys over here. So, as you see, I still have plenty of shelves that are empty for getting stuff up potted. And I have put a fan in here on oscillate to basically just make sure there's air movement on the plants so that way they develop st strong, healthy stalks so when they do graduate outside, they're not just going to fall over in the first breeze. But as you see, the fan is just giving a little bit of movement. The ones in the very back don't get as much, but this table is going to be on a four day rotation. So everything will just slide that way, working to get those guys the six trays in the back moved under the fan. So the little bit of 
brassica starts that did wound up not being planted, they're going to be cold, are going to be fed to the turkeys so, or to the geese. Let's go up there and show you what I've been able to get done up there. definitely wasn't wasted on them, but as you saw, there was no ducks out there. There is only one duck left in the goose pen, and that is because she has gone completely broody, and I did go through and candle the goose eggs, and it was about 50-50 on showing development. So there's about eight eggs under the Muscovy Mama. And I did go through with a Sharpie and do a black circle band on him so I can see if a uh, goose is getting in there and laying more eggs and be able to pull those out. There was only one that looked... Sorry. Kind of questionable, so I did put a question mark on it. But let's go to the turkey pen and see, because I got my first egg from them this morning. See if I've got any more. No more, no eggs yet. But the one that I did get was fertilized, so probably collect for this, like the next month, and then I'll let whichever one is laying the eggs see if she'll go broody on them. What do you think, LeBrons? Are you going to be my mama turkey this year? Yeah. So, the big crew of Muscovies and definitely will have to work on seeing if I can sell some of these adult females just so that way I can have babies and not overload everything. What you think, snowman? Well, guys, as you saw on the time lapse, I changed how I was potting the up potting the cabbages. So instead of filling the cup half full, what I was doing was filling it all the way full and then just going down and making a, the divot like that. I found it was easier to get the brassicas in the center of the pot and then I would just compress the soil around them. So this is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you have a good day and a good week. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.